I'm a F-16 pilot for over 3,000 hours, and now I'm flying the, F, the Block 60, which is also equivalent to the IN. And so what you're gonna do today is you're going to fly this. So we'll go, I'm gonna show you a few things. By pressure, go up, down, left, and right. This is what you will use. There are several buttons on this controller that you see that are important to the pilot. First off, the red button, that's your weapons release button. Okay. This is what we call a data management switch. It's DEMUS to the pilot. This will control your displays. The TEMUS, or the target management switch, will allow you to designate targets. And on your left-hand side is the throttle. The takeoff speed for this airplane is about 170. It's a 2.5 Mach airplane. It has CFTs, conformal tanks, so we have plenty of fuel for long range. And it'll carry up to 8,000 kilograms of weapons. So it has a 132, it's called a GE 132 engine, which gives you 32,000 pounds of thrust, and it's a 24,000 pound airplane. So you can see we have thrust to weight. We can accelerate straight uphill. It's an impressive airplane. All right, so for a small fighter, it has tremendous capability with AESA radar, the helmet mounted queuing system, the displays with a tactical situational display, the tactical situational display allows us to fuse data onto one display. This display is what the pilots would say gives them the situational awareness needed today in this combat arena, very intense combat arena. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a few things on the HUD. If you look up here, first thing is this is your airspeed indicator. This is your altitude, altimeter. What we're going to do is when we take off, when that hits 170, then I want you to pull back on this stick, and that'll have us take off. Once we take off, we'll head out toward the target. The tactical situational display. This is the pilot's best friend. As you can see, it shows the route of flight. It shows threats. It gives IP. It gives target data. And it also allows for data fusion on this one display. Okay, we are in the Super Viper. We're about to do a mission, and we're going to go drop uh, munitions being data linked to us from ground forces. So as you can see from the HUD field of view, we are at a runway that takes us up through the Himalayas and then out to a target set. So I'm taking off now. Uh, the airspeed is increasing through 90. I'll lift off about 180. Okay, there's 150. 170, I begin my climb. Okay, the gear is coming up, and I'm going to head to my first steer point that mm -hmm. has already been pre programmed in. I have a TSD, a tactical situational mm -hmm. display, and I'm being given data now. I need to see what this data is, so I'll manipulate my tactical situational display and find out what the ground forces want me to engage with. And the way you do that is you use your switches in your cockpit to see a nine line. Once I agree with it, which I say, yes, that looks right to me, ground forces are data linking, now I will comply with that target set. I am now I'm heading toward the target. Beauty of this airplane is while I'm heading toward the target, mm -hmm. I'm able to look at my mm -hmm. air to air uh, threats. And you can see now that if you I have two air-to-air -air threats that have already been declared hostile. I'm going to go ahead and put in my target data. And I'm heading toward the target that I've agreed to go attack. Since I have so much to do and we see that we have enemy threats in the area, I've got my auto throttles on and now I'm going to go into autopilot and I'm going into the target. If you look at the middle scope, designate one target because they have told me they are tanks and that looks like a row of tanks to me. Okay, I am now targeted. For the pilot, this is wonderful because I can look at my air-to-air -air map now and I am not having to be concerned about the threat. All right, I am currently seven seconds from pull. As, you, as the scope you're looking at now is the targeting pod. So I'm going to come in and release my munition when I get a release cue. 
show the HUD and you'll see the release cue and then we'll immediately go to the center scope so we can see the, the bomb splash. Okay, it's not released yet. All right, my laser is firing now and the bomb is released. Now I have 11 seconds time of fall. Four, three, two, one, destroyed. Now what it's telling me is my counter is coming and I need to move away from TSD, if you look to the left scope, away from the SA-6, I'm coming to the right hand side. Okay? If it was at night, I could set up my auto terrain following. I'm going to set it on 500 feet and it'll fly me down and it'll fly me also direct to the next steer point. I am not having to manipulate anything in the cockpit. My hands are free. My hands are free. And you can see it's the airplane is doing this on its own for me, which gives me the ability now to do two things at once, which is wonderful about the radar. I'm able to look to the right. I can see now that I am data linked to several air-to-air -air threats in the area and that I have to make a decision whether I'm going to go after these threats or not. So I have another surface threat, so I don't want to fly through that. I'll plan my route around it. And the way you do that is you drag the route. You'll see the green little dot. I'll drag the route off and then I'll accept that. And you can see now I'm not going to fly through the ring. Very nice feature that has been added for the pilot. So he can plan his route in flight around threats. Okay, the, the beauty of this airplane, one of mm -hmm. the nicest features, is that it does all of this for you. You can set it up before flight, or you can set it up in flight. And it will fly to the next route, and it'll fly to the extended routes, or you can fly low altitude, high altitude, it can all be done automatically.